Hello and welcome to the second Living in an Active Zone video. Today we're looking at what landforms are created by plates. So volcanoes that are formed at constructive plate margins. Now these uh, are as the plates move apart and the, s the space is opened up and filled by magma. The magma erupts out of the ground and turns into lava as it cools. And the volcanoes found here at these constructive plate margins are called shield volcanoes and this is because they sort of look like an old shield lying on the floor. There's a picture of them down here. Um, and they have a low height, gentle slopes, wide profile and the lava is runny and spreads easily. Volcanoes at destructive plate margins however or when the plate sinks underneath another plate into the mantle and then melts. And then the magma from the melted rock then erupts out as the volcano. And these volcanoes in destructive zones are known as stratovolcanoes. They have steep gradients, a high summit, layers of ash and lava and eru explosive eruptions. An uh, example of this would be Mount Etna. And then we get island arcs. An island arc is a chain of volcanic islands, um, e.g. Montserrat in the Caribbean. Uh, that's part of an island arc. Um, and the Soufre Hills volcano erupted in 1995, destroying the old capital of Plymouth after not erupting for 300 years. And then fold mountains are formed at destructive plate margins when the continental plate is pushed above and buckles upwards forming fold mountains and on the map you see you've got the Andes you've got the Rockies and then you've got the Alps and the Himalayas all in yellow shown on the map lastly we have ocean trenches as one plate slides under the other at destructive plate margins an ocean trench is formed and the ocean trench at the plate boundary near the Andes mountains is 5,900 kilometres long and up to 8 kilometres deep in some places. So that's it for this time. Tune in next time for more Living in an Active Zone videos.